Every day, birds interact with their environment, searching for food and seeking shelter from the elements. They also pay close attention to their surroundings, scrutinizing the trees and skies as they check for any threats that could be lurking nearby. It's incredible to watch just how much birds move their head and eyes around as they check for predators. And should a predator be spotted, all hell breaks loose. This phenomenon is known as mobbing and is observed across many bird species. Mobbing behavior takes place when birds collectively confront and harass a predator. It's usually triggered by the presence of a potential threat, such as a hawk, owl, or even other predatory animals like a pine marten. Mobbing calls are unmistakable, high-pitched, relentless, and with intensity. It's clear by the sound of their little voices that they are very upset over the presence of such an intruder. All of this not only communicates to their mates of the impending threat, but any other animals nearby. There can be several species together scolding a hawk or owl. It's an effective alarm system. But it doesn't stop at just loud incessant chirps. Often, the birds will get up close and personal to the predator. The attacking birds dive and swoop in tight, coordinated patterns, sometimes even making contact with the predator all while staying just out of reach. Their courageous effort is admirable, but it's hard not to sympathize with the bird of prey. It must be a difficult life for owls especially, since it's normally during the day when they need to sleep. Crows are very well known for their intense mobbing behavior. Calling out loudly, they summon others nearby, forming quite a noisy and relentless swarm. They aren't just harassing the owl, but working together to drive it away. That's the goal. Having a predator like this hanging around poses a serious threat to a flock of crows. It's no wonder they are so anxious to have it gone. Even our little brave chickadees mob predators. In fact, chickadees make a very good alarm system in the forest. Their language is so sophisticated that they can relay the smallest details to their mates. The size and type of predator, if it is on the move or not, and the level of threat posed. All of this is done by using their namesake call, the chickadee dee dee. By using certain tones and specific amounts of Ds to the end of their call, they can convey life-saving information to one another. A small boreal owl, for example, is very dangerous to chickadees, and therefore would elicit more D notes to the end of their call than a larger and less dangerous bird of prey like a great horned owl. The more denotes to the end of the call, the greater the threat. 
There can be as many as 20 Ds added in such cases. So it's unmistakable and can reveal some interesting animals that would otherwise be easily overlooked. The mobbing calls of chickadees is very helpful for other birds and animals too, who while they earned themselves chickadees, by living with them, they have gained a basic understanding of what their Ds mean. Everyone in the forest pays attention when chickadees have something to say. Sometimes mobbing can even be done all alone. In such cases, like with this female blue jay who was nesting at the time, it's quite a show of bravery. Facing such a formidable predator like a great horned owl all by itself. It's a testament to the lengths blue jays will go to in order to protect their young. Most often, their persistence and strength in numbers is effective enough to cause the bird of prey to leave, which is exactly what they want. When that happens, all goes quiet again. With the forest restored to its peaceful state, birds and other animals return to their normal activities, like finding food, raising young, or singing. This age-old behavior is a powerful survival strategy. While it may seem chaotic, it serves to protect the entire community of birds and other animals. By working in unison, birds can face even the largest of threats. While the stakes are high out in the wilderness, the birds show us that cooperation can turn the tide of danger one squawk at a time. The phenomenon of mobbing is more than just survival. It's a testament to the power of collective action in the animal kingdom. The next time you're on a woodland stroll and you hear a raucous like this, you'll be able to appreciate the serious effort our feathered friends put into protecting one another. When birds aren't having to deal with a predator, they are doing other important things, like raising their young. See all the hard work black-capped chickadees put into caring for so many nestlings in the video on the screen. Thanks for watching. Happy birding. ...of a window. This glowing color may help parents see where to put the food in the dark. After spending each night with her baby since hatching, tonight will be the first one without their mother.